Number one, one mark, straight plug and chug. How much momentum, magnitude, and direction? So momentum is not impulse. Impulse is change in momentum. Momentum is just plain old mass times velocity. The mass is 80. The velocity is 22. 80 times 22 is going to be what, Mr. Duick? 1,600 plus 160. 1,760, is that correct? There's the magnitude. What are the units for momentum? Well, it's mass times velocity. Kilogram, meters per second. Oh, but they also wanted the direction. Got to be north because that's the direction of the velocity. I'm going to go at north. I would go half mark for the magnitude, half mark for the direction, half mark off if you have the wrong or forgot the units. Also for units, you could write newton seconds because a newton second is also simplifies to a kilogram meters per second. Number two, a bike has a mass of that. Constant force acts on it for that. A bike's initial velocity is 23 meters per second south. Its final velocity is 52 south meters per second. I fixed that. Now it says meters per second south. Here's what I noticed. Both are south. I'm going to let them both be positive. It wants the impulse, the change in momentum. So I think I'm going to go MV final. <coughs> minus mv initial. I knew not to use force times time because I was clever. I glanced at part b and I said, you know what, they're asking me to find the force in part b. I can't go force times time in part a. Uh, m is going to be 220, v final 52, minus 220, v initial 23, Again, make sure you know where that version of the impulse equation is on your formula sheet. I wrote it a little bit different on your formula sheet with deltas, but it's the same thing. Did you all get uh, 6,380? Did it say magnitude and direction? Okay, 6,380 kilogram meters per second at. Which way did I let be positive? Because I got a positive answer. Yeah. South. By the way, you could have done this, let South be negative. You would have got negative 6,380, and you would have said, hey, that's South. I'd give you full credit for that. What's the magnitude of the force? You could, again, go F equals what, what? MA. Uh, I chose to say, you know what? Force is also impulse over time. I looked at F times T equals delta P, and I got the F by itself because it saves me a bit of time. I can say 6,380, my answer from part A, divided by, they told me time, they told me time, 58 seconds. Answer button divided by 58, and I got 110 newtons. Did they say magnitude and direction in part B? Oh, magnitude only? Okay. If you wanted me to give a direction, I think south, because that's what the change in momentum was. Number three, an 80 kilogram water skier moving forward. Let's go of a tow line. What's the impulse needed to bring him to rest? And they just want the magnitude. Well, I think again, I'm going to go MV final minus MV initial. Carson, what's V final here though? Yeah, comes to rest. So I said it's going to be negative 80 times 18. <sighs> Could do that in my head. I think 100, is it negative 100, oh, 1,920? No, I'm wrong. People are looking at me weird. Negative 80 times 18. Negative 1,440. Uh, I carried a one wrong, big time. Kilogram meters per second. Mr. Doek. <sighs> What, Jackson? You said magnitude. That means I don't have to put the negative there. That is true. Because I said magnitude, I would have to accept either a positive 1440 or a negative 1440. What is the negative telling me? The momentum, the impulse uh, is forwards or backwards to bring somebody to a stop? Backwards. they got to lose momentum. Yep. Uh, if the impulse is provided by the water exerting an average backwards force. How long should this force act? So I started out by saying, well, the version of impulse that has force in it is that one. This time, I think, Cody, they want me to find T. How would I get the T by itself? I said, okay, it's going to be 
impulse divided by F. It's going to be my answer from there divided by. Now, when I wrote this, I said, I don't like this. I'm going to get a negative time. But then I said, oh, wait a minute. The force is backwards, which means it's technically negative two. You're going to get a negative divided by a negative, which is a, are you positive? <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Dude. Okay. So I went divided by negative 270 and I got, is it 5.33? Seconds. A hockey, nice try, Duke. 170 grams, 0. 0.170 kilograms. It's divided by a thousand. Ooh, I see east and west. Okay. Ryan, what do you want to let be positive, east or west? Doesn't matter as long as we're consistent. You, so you went like this, lazy but organized. Hey, that's positive, that's positive, that's negative, that's negative. Good. What's the impulse? Again, I see a final and an initial velocity. So I think I'm going to use MV final minus MV initial. M.170 V final negative 43 minus M.170 V initial positive 22. 0 0.170 times negative 43 minus 0 0.170 times positive 22. I get, do you get negative 11.05? They said magnitude and direction, so I'm going to go 11.05. I would take 11.1. I would take a half mark off if you said 11.0. Uh, kilogram meters per second. What's the significance of the negative, Ryan? Direction. In our in our frame of reference, yep. West. Uh, I would give you one mark for the magnitude, one mark for the direction. You could have let west be positive. You would have got positive 11.05, and you would have said, oh, positive west. What's the average force, magnitude, and direction applied by the stick? Hmm. Well, again, Jackson, I just found impulse. So I think I'm going to go force times time. Angus, how would I get the F by itself? It's going to be the impulse divided by the time. It's going to be negative 11.05 divided by... 0 0.025. It's going to be answer button divided by 0 0.025. You get a uh, negative 442. That's a force newtons. They did say magnitude and direction. Now, I have to be honest. If you just wrote negative 442 and you had let west be negative in part A, I would give you full credit. But since they specifically said magnitude and direction, I'm going to write 442 newtons at direction. What did we decide negative meant? Yep. Again, one mark for the magnitude, 442 newtons, one mark for the direction. Number five. 150 grit, nice try, Duick. 0.15 kilograms. Ball is thrown due east with initial velocity of 39, struck by a bat and rebounds due west. Okay, I have a change in direction. What that means, Evelyn, is I have to let one way be positive and one way be. What did you let be negative in this question, east or west? You let east be negative? Okay, so you went like this. No really right or wrong answer. Long you put a negative there, a negative there. Uh, you put a plus in front of west uh, that there. Ooh, I think the force is in the west direction. It must be because the ball ended up going west. So I think that would be positive. If you let east be positive and west be negative, we would just have opposite sides. They want the impulse. You know what, Evelyn? I think here I'm going to find the impulse by going force times time. Oh yeah, because what are they asking me to find in part B? Well, then I can't go my usual MVF minus MVI change in. I'll have to do force times time. The force is going to be 20,400 
times 7.5 times 10 to the negative 4. Now, if you had let West be negative, you would have negative 20,400 times 7.5 times 10 to negative 4. 20,400 times 7.5, scientific notation, negative 4. 15.3? And that's a positive answer. And since they did, oh, not Newton's, Mr. Duick, uh, Newton seconds, or I would take kilogram meters per second, because you can either find it by mass times velocity or by force times time. Uh, if you let, oh, for a direction at west, I suspect most of you let east be positive and west be negative, and you would have got negative 15.3, and you would have said, ah, I think it's going to be uh, negative is west. Leans awake now. Uh, one mark for the magnitude, one mark for the answer. Final velocity. Okay. I'm going to, ooh, three marks. So this one's got some teeth. Yeah, it does. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go impulse equals impulse, although I'm not going to write that. Jackson, I'm going to say, you know, force times time equals mv final minus mv initial. And I want to get the vf by itself right there. What's going to drop down like a domino? Force times time. And then I guess I would plus mvi over because it's minus. And then I would divide by the mass. That's what VF is going to be. It's going to be force times time. Anderson, I was going to write it out, and then I went, wait a minute, I know what the answer is. It's apparently 15.3. Now, I'm continuing to use West as positive in this question because that's what somebody suggest. Oh, that's what Evelyn suggested. Okay, I'll go with that. So it's going to be 15.3 plus m, 0.15, vi, negative 39, divided by m, 0.15, bracket, 15.3 plus 0.15 times negative 39, divided by 0.15, and I find it's 63, or have I made a typo? I'm not seeing heads nod. Final velocity, is, is the final velocity 63 meters per second west? Not seeing anything. Okay, let's double check this, Mr. Duick. Uh, force times time would be 15.3. Was that right, Mr. D? Yeah, it was. And it wasn't rounded off at all, so you could use that. You could plug it in there. You've let west be positive, so that means that east will be negative, which is why it's negative 39. I think, right? I think. Anybody else get 63? No one else? You got 63? Oh, okay. Uh, it's a velocity, so it's meters per second. Direction, Angus. I got a positive answer. What? Uh, for this one, I would give you half mark for that. Half mark for the direction. I would give you one whole mark if I saw that. Half mark for that. Half mark for that. Number six, what impulse, magnitude and direction, does a 2,500 kilogram truck have if it's traveling west with a constant velocity of 34 meters per second? Hannah, in your head. What? What? Why? Remember, impulse is a change in momentum. If you're going at a constant velocity, or the other way to think about it, impulse is force times time. If you're going at a constant velocity, what's the net force? So what's zero times time? Still, no impulse. Yep. Zero kilogram meters per second. I'm usually, if the answer is zero, I'm not as fussy if you don't put units because you've recognized the concept. Yeah, nothing going on here. 
Can you give yourself a score, please, out of 15? 